Hello and welcome to this AMCRAS video tutorial. In this video, we will give you an overview of the AMCRAS web view app available on Google Chrome. Before we begin, please ensure that you have installed and set up your AMCRAS camera on the AMCRAS View Pro app and have installed the IP config tool on your desktop. Please refer to the links in the video description to learn how. In this video, we will be accessing Google Chrome on a Mac OS. Let's begin. On your desktop, launch Google Chrome. Navigate to the Google App Store. Click on Web Store. In the search bar, type in AMCRAS Web View. Click on Add to Chrome. Then, click on Add App to continue. The app will automatically begin downloading, and it will appear in the Google App page when finished. Click on the AMCRAS Web View app. The AMCRAS Web View app window will appear. In the search bar, type in your camera's IP address. Please note, you can refer to the IP config tool to locate the IP address of your camera. Then, log in with your camera's credentials. You will be directed to the Live View screen where you can begin streaming your camera. In addition to viewing your device, you can also perform the following. Switch between mainstream and substream modes. Select protocol. Enable relay out. Zoom into the Live View screen. Snap and save one or more pictures to your computer or tablet. Record video, mute or unmute audio, and enable two-way audio. At the bottom of the Live View screen, you can make image adjustments, select original size for viewing, change the width and height of the aspect ratio, switch between fluency modes, and control the camera using the PTZ control options. Next to the Live View tab is the Playback tab. Here, you can play back recorded videos. On the top of the screen, you can use the digital zoom icon to zoom into videos or click on the camera icon to snap screenshots. At the bottom of the playback screen are video controls. These enable you to play, stop, change video frame, slow down or forward video, as well as adjust the video volume. Below is the video timeline. Here you can select the video playback time, as well as select or deselect between record types. These include general, motion, alarm, and manual recordings. On the right panel, you can select a file format, data type, and a date on the calendar to specify video playbacks. Please note, you must have an SD card inserted into your camera to enable video recordings. Now let's review the setup menu and its key features. On the top right corner, click on the Setup tab. In the Setup menu, you can configure camera settings. These include making video adjustments to the camera brightness, contrast, saturation, exposure, and much more. In this video tab, you can make adjustments to the stream type, encode mode, resolution, frame rate, and much more to both mainstream and substream camera modes. This tab enables you to make snapshot and overlay adjustments, as well as select file paths to back up all recordings on your desktop. Below is the audio tab. Here, you can adjust encode and attribute settings. Next is the network tab. Here you can set up multiple network connections for your device using the listed methods. These include TCP IP, PPPoE, DDNS, UPnP, and much more. Next is the event tab. 
Here you can configure event settings for video and audio detection, activate relay, and review abnormality events, which include the SD card, network, and illegal access incidents. Next is the Storage tab. This enables you to set up and schedule video recordings and snapshots, as well as set destinations for file path, SD card, FTP server, and the NAS network. You also have Record Control, which enables you to set time durations, select Dispel options, Record Mode, and Stream Mode. In the Systems tab, you can configure the following settings. In the General tab, you can change the device name and select Language and Video Standard. You can also click on the Date and Time tab to specify time zones. In the Manage Users tab, you can add or delete users and groups. In the Factory Reset tab, you can restore the app to its factory settings. In the Import or Export tab, you can either export your current configuration or import a previously saved configuration. In the Auto Maintain tab, you can either enable or disable reboot settings. In the Upgrade tab, you can download and upgrade the latest firmware for your app. And finally is the Information tab. Here you can view the software version, log information, and current online users. Now let's take a look at the Alarm tab. On the top right corner, click on Alarm. When an alarm is set and it has been activated, a siren will appear on the top right corner of the screen. Here you can view the various types of alarms. And finally, when you are ready to log out of your device, simply click on the Log Out button located on the top right corner. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our other videos from Amcraz Technologies.